Hello! In a previous video, we saw how to deploy the OpenShift Sandbox Containers operator. I'm going to assume that this is done and that when you click on the list of installed operators, you do see the OpenShift Sandbox Containers operator over here and that when you click on it, you have a kata config. In my case, it was called demo kata config where you have the installation is not in progress, so is in progress is false, and the runtime class is kata. If that's what you see, you're all set to deploy a pod that uses sandbox containers. So for this example, I'm going to create a demo project. So I give it the name demo and add a short description. Let me now create a pod. So first I'm going to create a standard example pod. I'm not going to use Kata containers or sandbox containers. And when I hit create and I look at the logs, I'm going to see that my command line, the HTTPD process has started. And if I know, now look at the terminal for this pod, I'm going to see the processes that run inside, so four instances of HTTPD. But I can also check the uptime, which is the uptime of my cluster, 25 minutes here. And I can look, for instance, at the command line for the kernel. And that's the typical command line you expect when you're running directly on your node. So this is what happens with the no normal non kata non sandboxed containers let me now do the same thing but now i'm going to do the same thing with sandbox containers all i need to do is to add a runtime class name here with the value kata and that's going to now start my sandbox my container in a sandbox so i need a new name And you can see that the container is creating. That takes slightly more time because now it's starting a new virtual machine to run my container. The container is now running. And if I look at the logs, I'm going to see exactly the same thing that I saw before with HTTPD being started. And if I connect to a terminal, it looks very similar. The same processes are running inside. However, if I look at the uptime, what I see now is that it's just been, just been up. It's the uptime of the virtual machine. And we can check that by comparing the command line and checking that the command line looks different. It has only two CPUs, for instance, and we are actually running inside the virtual machine. Let us now do something slightly more complicated where we are going to do a complete deployment. So I have a prepared deployment there for Jenkins. The name is Jenkins. That's the image I used, the various options. And you see that I added ports and volumes. So this is slightly more complicated than before. And I'm simply going to apply that manifest in the demo project. And once this is deployed, I can watch the pods to check that this has been running and you see the amount of time it's been running. Now to make this available outside of the cluster, I can also deploy a service. And I'm now going to check that my pods are running, that my deployments or my deployment in that case, single one, is running, and that the service itself is now available. Let me return to my console, and I can now look at my deployments inside the demo project. There is this single Jenkins deployment. And if I now look at the services, 
there is this single Jenkins service, which as you can see is exposed here on port 30,000. I can now connect to my Jenkins application and check that it actually runs, for instance, by clicking on new item and checking that the application responds. Let me now return to my console and do the same kind of deployments, except now I'm going to try with the CADA runtime class name. So if I make a difference between the two YAML files, the one that has a CADA in the name and the one without, you're going to see that the only difference is the name of the deployment itself and the fact that I added runtime class name in the Jenkins CADA deployment file. So let me actually delete the old deployment and that's because I want to even reuse the service. And now I can instead apply the CADA deployment, the version of the deployment. We can now check in the console that the service is still running, that the deployment is now my Jenkins CADA deployment, and that one is running inside Sandbox containers. And if I now go to my application and I refresh, you see that it's restarting and it's getting ready to work. Now it's available and I can again create a new item and check that the application is responding.